Okay, here we go. A friend of mine got in touch a couple of days ago and said, Zach, why don't you do the next short little film on uh, survival kits and what you take on your adventures, if, just in case you have an emergency. So I thought, yeah, all right, let's do it. Um, spare thermals are great in a dry bag. This is the main bag that I'm going to put everything in. Spare thermals, good start, along with a buff and a beanie. So just the things that are going to change your body temperature really, really quickly in combination with some food. Yeah, get that food in the system. Now, um, that bag would um, also have in it a first aid kit. First aid kit, um, important to note that this is where the spare batteries would be for my head torch, along with any other sort of medical um, supplies that I might need. The, the common stuff for me, steri strips, tape, bandage, a little bit of pain relief. That's my head torch there, and uh, do enough time uh, in the outdoors adventuring, and it's inevitable that you won't make it home before dark every time. Um, so yeah, um, I've appreciated having mine in the bag several times. A little bit of lightweight rope. That might be a double up if you're carrying a tent, um, just because the often the fly has um, strings on it for um, securing that down. Um, but if not, maybe you're on a day where you're trying to go light and fast and cover a lot of terrain, you might find yourself packing a small emergency shelter survival blanket equivalent um, in that bag as well. Now, the remainder of these items are really about um, what if I needed to fix some gear and uh, if I wanted to get a fire going. So let's look at the repairs first. Um, I find a couple of cable ties to be an excellent thing to have in the bag. I find that uh, dental floss works um, really, really well if I want to use a thread and stitch anything together. So what I'm talking about there is pack buckles, I'm talking about straps, I'm talking about clothing items, things that just would make a little, life a little bit easier if my gear was functional. Um, I'd also have a whistle, gaining people's attention. Again, I'm trying to go as light as I can here. I've got a flint in case my fire lighting setup um, gets completely soaked. And I've got some insulation tape holding things together and I've got a candle. Okay, so we're looking at fire lighting gear now. The candle, such a good option because you can stand it vertically, it's going to put out a consistent flame and now you can lay your tinder um, up on top of it and that'll be a huge help getting fire um, to establish. An alternative to that could be that you pack some um, tube off um, a mountain bike tire, bike tire, cut it into little pieces like that so it's ready to go and um, that'll help. Uh, matches, spear lighter and a Ziploc bag um, and the other thing that you might like to try, sounds a little bit odd, but Vaseline um, covered cotton balls. Yep, stick those in a Ziploc bag as well so that they don't dry out. So there you go team, a um, little bit of thinking around what's in the emergency bag uh, with a survival sort of a focus. So if you were stuck out for a night, if you need a bit of fire to um, lift the spirits and keep the adventure alive, um, you've got a bit of gear to um, make that all happen. So um, yeah, go forth, enjoy your adventures and thanks for checking in.